Hello guys, welcome back to another food blog with the Kaka family. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to um, prepare or make enchiladas. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is um, basically I have three pechugas de pollo, three chicken breasts. And I already, these breasts came a little bit, they came out clean already. They didn't come with a lot of fat as you guys can see. Uh, I have already removed whatever fat the breast had, the pechugas had. So they're ready to go. I've already washed them. Uh, now what I have over here is I'm going to cut just like a little bit of the onion. I'm not going to put the entire onion um, because you have to put the pechugas to boil. So you have your onion here, the dried oregano, salt, and then I'm going to add two garlic cloves. And then um, I'll show you guys right now when to add it and then when to add the salt. Okay, so here, um, like I mentioned, I'm not going to add the entire uh, cebolla. And then, so I'm just going to add this here. Come with me. Okay, so here we're going to add the pechugas. The water is ready. So we'll add all the pechugas. It's three. We are going to add the piece of onion that I mentioned. I had said two garlics, but I, it, it came out to being three, so I'm just going to add all three of them. I'm going to add the salt. This is how much I'm going to add. Then you guys can later, later on um, taste it, just to see if the, the taste is right. The oregano. And this is going to give a flavor too to your caldo. Or to your, your pechugas. Okay, so now you're going to cover your pot. And you're not gonna cover it all the way again, you're gonna let it breathe so that um, when it starts boiling, uh, the water or the caldo de pollo doesn't come all the way to the top of the surface. And then you don't want it spilling out of your pot and making a mess into your stove. So that's how you're gonna leave it. Maybe at a three. That's how we're gonna leave it. Just wait until your pechugas are ready. Now we're gonna boil the chiles and we're gonna use Chile guajillo, chile de árbol, and the chile pasilla. Put them here. Seven. And then we like our stuff spicy, so. And one chile, one chile pasilla. So you're gonna let it boil for about three or four minutes. You don't wanna overdo it because then that's when your chile gets like that sour taste three tomatoes i cut them in half and one uh garlic garlic clove and instead of adding water this time i'm using the same caldo de pollo pretty much and so now we're gonna blend it and i actually turned the fire off because it's already warm you see you guys can you guys hear that Here we have your pechugas de pollo. And what you're gonna do now is you guys are gonna pretty much um, desmenuzar la, la pechuga. Okay guys, so now we have the chiles here already. I added some of the water. Um, I used some of the water that we used to boil the chiles. And then here's the salt. Half of the palm. <laughs> Just enough. What you see here in the video, that's how much you put. <laughs> oh, and then we added one um, clove of garlic. And now you're gonna blend it. Okay guys, so now once you guys have blended your chile, now you guys are, you guys are gonna strain the chile. Cuando hagan las enchiladas, you guys don't wanna have all the seeds. You guys wanna clean. Clean, clean, clean chile. Also, another way or what you guys can do is use this, like a spoon, so you can, you guys see that? And that's what it should look like once you remove the actual sauce. This is what's left behind. That's the stuff you do not want to digest. The seeds are bad. Toss them out. Do you see? That's the final result right here. Okay, so now guys, we're ready to make the enchilada. So you guys are gonna 
dip it in the chile. By now your aceite ya está caliente. So we have corn tortillas. And we grab them. Yes. And we dip them into the salsa, the chile first. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we just dump it on hot oil, vegetable oil. Not that hot, okay? Medium heat. Ahí van poniendo las tortillas to put it in your plate. Okay, so now we have the tortillas hechas. They were already made. And then now we're gonna add the, the chicken. The, roll it up, roll it up. Las van a ir acomodando. You do your next one. It's okay to be messy here. There's no way you could be. Because <laughs> it's so much chile. You roll it. The next one. Start adding your cheese. Right, again, we're using the queso ranchero, which is a fresco. So now we're going to add the onion. Then we're going to add the lettuce. Add more cheese on the top. And now we're going to add the sour cream. Now we're gonna add the rice and then that's your final plate.